let's now generate a report from the database. Again, when you say report, it is simply presenting process data into a meaningful way for the um, for our end user or problem solver. And to make a more meaningful view, we use the tools just for soft I report designer. So in the previous video lectures, we install the I report and add the plugins here in our NetBeans. And then make sure also that you have uh, the jar files so from the project that we created previously. Make sure that you have added the jar files, the Jasper jar files here. So how to do it again? You just need to right click the library inside the project you created and then add jar, file, jar folder. Click on that. Then look for the downloadable files wherever you saved it and then select all and then click open. So since I already added it, I will no longer do this step. As you can see, it is already in here. Now, you can see on your screen here that three steps in creating a report, generating report from our database. So to do that, make sure that, let's click on the services tab, make sure that your JavaDB has started, you should have clicked the start server if it is not starting yet. Okay, and then remember the device connection that we created. Make sure also that it is connected. Okay, you should have click connect. And then we already have the video lectures explaining how to create tables, how to create database, and add table in that database, and then how to add records. So from the previous lectures that we have, we created the login table, and I have now the additional table, the conduct student table with the following fields, okay? This is what we are going to generate to come up with a simple report using the Jasper soft. Okay, let's first start with step one. Click on this and then from the data source dialog box, you choose NetBeans Database JDBC Connection. Then click Next. And on the connection, make sure that the database, the, the database you created last time is selected. So usually it is automatically selected but just to make sure you have to take a look at the drop down so that is the connection that you created last time now let's name the report for example last name student report then let's test the connection if it is working. So connection test successful. Click OK. Now you save your report. 
After that, we proceed to the step two using the report wizard. So double click that and then you will be prompted with the templates, numbers of templates. Choose any. Choose whatever you think is appropriate for your records. You can edit it after. So let's take a look for example this one. And then click on the launch report wizard button. Let's name the report again. Let's name student profile. And make sure that the location for your report is in the folder where you download the Jasper reports, templates, and uh, the jar files. You can click browse button to check or to look for that folder if it is not automatically linked in here. Now you may not click next button. Then let's uh, create query for the database. So the query depends on what manipulation would you like to do with your table. So for example, we could just simply select all the record from the our table. Where this table came from, from here. Okay, then after typing the query, you may not click next. Now you can choose the fields one by one, whichever fields you'd like to be included in your report. You can also select all by clicking this one. So we're going to select all. And then click next to proceed. For now, we will just leave this group by as is. We will have another video lectures to, to explain the group by command in details. So you can now proceed by clicking next. And then you will be prompted with this message, congratulations, you have successfully created a new report. So we're going to click finish to uh, generate the report. Then you will be prompted with the designer view. If you want to see the source code, you can just simply click the XML. If you want to modify something. Now, if you want to preview the report, click on the preview. So here's now our report. This is how it will look like if you're going to print it. Okay. You can edit it here in the designer view. That's easy. That's how easy PG over creating or generating report from the database using the just for soft. You can change the view here. And that's it. And that's how we generate report from the database using the iReport Designer 
of the Jasper soft. Now let's have a quick sample of editing the existing template. You just simply click on it. You can also change the properties here. Change the color, the styles and everything you like. Now let's change the alignment and edit the existing text. Student profile. Double click on it. And enter. And also modify the length. Let's try changing the color. sake of sample for the demo. Let's make it bold. You can also change the font size. It's just the same with creating the form or formatting the form. And you could just simply move the others and then continue working with your design based on your desired output then from time to time you can check the preview to see the progress of your work okay now you, you can do all the rest all the changing is up to you For the challenge in this video tutorial, you are to design your own version of a student report using iReport Designer Jasper Soft. Just follow the instructions here in this video lectures and you can be as creative as possible and make your report as user friendly as possible. You can exceed to the minimum requirements. Good luck! believe that you can do it. And that ends our discussion. This is Mama says saying, if the grass looks greener on the other side, stop complaining and start watering the grass you're standing on. And so that's it. Watch out for more video tutorials. Stay safe and God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. This is Mom Says, signing off.